it's Tuesday the 25th of April and do you know I've had a lovely week so far. Put me back down. Started off on Saturday, I met some friends, new friends actually, and we went for a tie. Look at this, I've never had tie before. My first time with chopsticks. I think I did quite well really. Anyway, I've brought them home, washed them, and I thought they'd be ideal when those melon plants start to grow to use them as plant props until they get big enough to grow outside. And then I've just met a friend and we've been around some charity shops and then I went back to her place for a coffee and I was admiring her Get this. I was admiring her oregano and she it's just starting to come up well it's it's quite a way up now really and she gave me quite a lot look can you see it smells beautiful I like to dry this and then put it on some pizza but she saw me bits that had got root on and was putting it in my water bottle and she said oh would you like some for your container garden I said oh yes please so we found a cat uh, uh, actually it's a cash bag and we've dug some up with some root on so I'm just going to go out and plant that up but I'll show you what I got from the charity shop I got some, I got a couple of real bargains I thought before I plant this oregano up I think I'll just cut some of this top off until it um, takes root properly. Yes, I think I'll do that. There we are. I think that will, that will root better now. I've just chopped the, chopped the tops off and put it with this other, giving it a rinse. I'm going to dry it, uh, drain it, dry it off and I've actually got the oven on. So once the, I've turned the oven off, I shall pot, pop it on a foil tray and just pop it on top of the oven and let the residual heat help dry it out. And then I might pop it on my windowsill if it's not properly dry. Lovely. Oregano. Fresh oregano. And dried oregano on a pizza is lovely. There we are, all planted up. I'll let it get settled and I'll, then I'll turn it towards the light. I think it's, it's bent over a bit look but at the moment I'll let it get settled then I'll start moving it round and see if I can straighten it up a bit and so I've got oregano now and marjoram that marjoram's ready to go in a bigger pot I think and this is what I got from the charity shop two different charity shops actually well I, I went round quite a few but this, this is ideal, this is what I've been looking for. Because I do have two, two, well, two big coats, winter coats really, that are waterproof. But nothing really for summer that's waterproof. When you're just going out in a jumper or maybe a, a thick jacket. This is a, a, a larger size, but um, it doesn't really matter because it will go over any size jumper. I've had it out of the little packet that it comes in and it's fine there's a zip on it and everything I did look online and they're about £12 this packet in a jacket regatta and I got it from the charity shop for £4.50 and I've been looking for one of those never fails to amaze me things that you things that you you look for and then all of a sudden you come across them and this a big ball of wool now you're thinking to yourself why did you get that Jill well, I've got this jumper. You've probably I've got this from a charity shop. I think it was about four pound a couple of years ago. I really, really like this jumper. Um, but as you can see, I'll just turn it over. Somebody obviously wears a bat. Whoever, whoever was um, had this before me, obviously wore the bag on the shoulder like I do. And look, it's gone through. And I thought to myself, 
what can I do with that? And I've looked online and um, on YouTube actually, and I found a video where the lady, she threaded some, th some wool through and then with a, a crochet hook, repaired something. Well, I've been looking for some wool and I thought to myself, I'll never find wool that's this color. So I might as well make a feature of it. And I thought I'll just do a geometric shape or something like that. So that's what I actually got this wool for. To like patch this really. And I thought, yeah, why not? We'll give it a go. And it was £1.25. So I'll do that another day. But I'll show you when I've uh, done it and see what you think of it. But I do like this jumper. And I am, I do wear, uh, I'm left handed so I do wear my rucksack or my handbag over my shoulder on this side and this certainly won't last much longer so we'll see if we can get a bit more life out of this but I do like this jumper and this is what I've bought this week earlier on in the week I bought some pork mince reduced but today is the 26th, Wednesday the 26th and I've been to Sainsbury's and then I went on to Aldi for a change and Sainsbury's, their best rain sausages, taste the difference. I got those. There's, those are actually on special offer at £1.50. I got this fruit platter reduced from £2.80 to 69p. And this fish sushi from 2 80 to 69p. And I went to Aldi to have a look at their coffee, but they, the one that I like, they didn't have. So this is what I got from Aldi. The pumpkin seeds were £1.49. These jive biscuits that I buy are still 89p. I say still, they were 75p not so long ago. I got a deodorant and that was uh, 75p. The mayonnaise that I got was 89p the tuna back of four tuna £2.69 the tomato puree 49p and the six potato crisps six pack of plain crisps 82p and those all-purpose cloths that I got there were how much were those a pound and five pence for ten and early earlier on in the week i came across this cafe pay what you can afford cafe and there was a donation box so i put something in the donation box and i got a hot chocolate and half a cheese sandwich And on, and on the table was quite a lot of bread cakes that people were getting. So I got two of those and it was healthy self, so those were free. The fruit platter that I got reduced from £2.80 down to 69p. I have to split that into two. So that will do two breakfasts. 35p a time. Making your money stretch that little bit further. Take care people.